Hi guys, I am Jade. I am a color manager at Sephora and I feel super proud to work for such an inclusive company that celebrates all styles of beauty. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on contour and highlighting. It's something that is very near and dear to my heart because when I was 14, that's when I first got introduced to makeup and the first time I ever contoured and highlighted, it completely changed my makeup game especially for the trans community as we are transitioning, it's really important that we are focusing on the features that we want to bring out. I've probably done hundreds of faces just in the three years that I have been with Sephora. I am super excited to share all of these tips and tricks with you guys, so let's get started. I already have my foundation on. Today I am wearing Bare Minerals Pro Foundation, which is one of my absolute favorites. We are going to start by contouring. And what I'm gonna be using is my Fenty Match Stick. You want something that's gonna be a little bit cool toned. You never want your contour to look orange because then you're gonna look orange and nobody wants to look orange. I don't apply it directly on my skin. I feel like the contour separates my foundation. So I'm going to be using brush number 47. It's actually a foundation brush, but absolutely amazing for contouring. A stipple, which means we're literally just gonna press against the contour. The way you want to apply your contour is going right up to your earlobe. I like to take my brush, put it in the hollow part of the cheek, So we're gonna go straight up. I'm not really moving my brush a lot because the more you move that brush, the more you're gonna move that product around. Now, if you have a larger forehead like myself, you probably wanna contour a little bit more. If you have more of a small forehead, I probably wouldn't even contour. We're gonna start right up at my hairline, slowly blend down from there. And then we're gonna start to connect onto that cheek. And you guys can see how this is starting to give me a lot of warmth, a lot of more definition, and that's exactly what you want. So I'm gonna take it right underneath my jawline and blend it down from there. The importance of contouring your jawline, especially if you're trans, is most men have very masculine features and a woman has very soft features. You can already see the difference between half of my face. This side already looks so much warmer, so much more lifted. Moving to the other side of my face, really wanna round up this jawline. It's gonna give you that illusion of a really nice high lifted neck, which we all want, right? <laughs> Blend till you can't no more. That's what I always tell everybody. Keep blending so you can achieve a very soft and natural look. Now that I've already contoured the outside of my face, I have a lot of warmth. We're now gonna go back and add a little bit of light. So I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers, blends out super easily. And you always want your concealer to be about one to two shades lighter than your own skin tone. The reason is you really wanna brighten that area. Don't over apply because the more you apply, the more it's gonna crease. I'm gonna go right in and start just blending that out and I'm using a black beauty blender. And you can already see my under eye is looking a lot brighter. We're gonna do the same thing to the other eye. And a little tip with the beauty blender, don't just blend out one way, blend out the opposite way too. Take it down my chin area, a little bit on my top lip, because I love for my top lip to look really nice and full. Down the bridge of the nose, that'll give me that illusion of a really thin nose. And we're gonna go right on the center of my forehead. I'm going to go ahead and set all of this cream. My favorite translucent powder is Laura Mercier translucent powder. The reason I like doing it on the lid is because it gives you more control over the product. I am a beauty blender type of girl. I use my beauty blender for everything. So the first place you wanna set is your under eye because your under eye is prone to creasing. I'm really pressing the product in. I also like to take it down my smile lines because I tend to crease there for some reason. I think I smile too much. <laughs> I get pretty oily on my forehead, so I always like to ensure my forehead is very set. Next, I'm gonna use the Smashbox Trio. This is their contouring palette, and the reason why I love this palette is it has everything. I'm gonna take a nice fluffy brush. This is number 59 from Sephora. If you're just starting off doing makeup, this is a great tool for you guys to have because you can use it for blush, bronzer, contour, powder, all kinds of products. We're gonna start off with the contouring shade in the palette. I'm tapping off the excess and just set exactly where I laid that cream contour earlier. And same thing on my forehead. We're just gonna go right in. People ask me all the time, if I wear contour, do I have to wear blush? My advice is yes, wear blush because blush is gonna give you a little bit of life. We're gonna use 
this blush from NARS. It's a universal blush, looks beautiful on all different skin tones, and blush goes on the apple of the cheek. So if contouring goes out here, blush will go on the apple of the cheek right in here. Take that same brush, grab a little bit of blush. You never wanna do this motion. Press and move, press and move as you go. Smile, cheese it, and go for it. I like to add a little bit of blush around my forehead area for everything to look very cohesive. I even like to do a little on the tip of my nose. If you over applied blush, go back in with your beauty blender and you can just blend it out a little bit more. And for highlighting, I am loving the Rihanna Fenty Kilowatt. It has an everyday highlight and then it has a blingy highlight. We're gonna go in for the nighttime highlight just because I am a blingy type of girl. It's called Mean Money Hustler Baby. Right on the bone right here. And for this step, you can go back and forth with your brush because we've already set that entire area. And I like to take it a little bit around my forehead too. And the last step, I'm gonna be using Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. It'll keep your makeup on for at least 16 hours. Hold it arm's length away and do four to six sprays. Go back in with the Beauty Blender, no more added product. Lightly press it onto my skin. This is really gonna ensure that all your products melt really nicely together. And there you have it, very easy look to achieve. When I first started contour and highlighting, it used to take me up to an hour. Now I can do it in 15. If you want to learn more, please feel free to check out our other two videos in this Bold Beauty series, including skincare and everyday eye. We do have a Sephora collection retractable brush. $20 goes to support Sephora Sans social impact program, like classes for confidence and bold beauty classes. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below and make sure that you subscribe to Sephora YouTube.